Hey, welcome to Tinker's Lab. This is going to be a fun tutorial. I know tutorials sometimes can be a little tedious and a little boring. Learning isn't always fun, but this one is going to be a blast. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up GIMP. And before we get started on the tutorial, I want to show you some of the images that I have already created. So I'm going to open as layers. And we'll navigate here to the eye color tutorial. Okay, so I just want to load up some of these so that you can see the results. I think the results of this process are just absolutely stunning. Okay, so what we're seeing here, let me maximize it. What we're seeing here is the original image. So this is the original eye color, and if I uh, hide that layer. You can see the next one is a yellow colored eye and then the next one is a violet colored eye and then red and then orange and then green. I think that those look so cool. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and close all of these. Uh, let me yeah, let me go ahead and close all of these. Close all, you know, discard, and then we'll just open up the the layer that we that we want to use for this tutorial, which is going to be the original image. Okay, so Control Shift J will maximize it in your image window here, and since the eyeball is round, I'm going to select the ellipse tool up here for for selecting the eye and then we're going to tweak it. So I'm just going to do this fast and dirty. It's not going to be as precise as I would like it to be because you know you want to get through these tutorials fairly quickly. Okay so I've got my selection here made and then I'm going to click in it and then I'm going to go up here where it says select and I'm going to say to path. So now I have it as my selection as a path. And if I double click it, you can see that I've got all the points here. But I didn't have to go and create all these points along the perimeter to make this round part. And so by holding down Shift and Control, you can delete these the nodes that you want to delete. And since I'm only going to need a couple of them to make this contour on the bottom of the lid, I'm going to delete the vast majority of these nodes on the path. And I'm just going to keep two of them. Okay, so now I've got two of them, and I'm going to zoom in here a bit by hitting my plus key so that I can see the, the eyelid a little bit better. And so I'm going to grab this node, and I'm going to bring it down right here to the corner of the eye where the eyelid starts. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Grab it and move it down here to the corner where the eyelid starts, you know, where the eyeball stops and the lid starts. Okay, so I'm going to grab my um, curve handle here. I'm going to bring that back up to match the contour of the eye. And the same thing with this one. I want to close that up a little bit. And then I want to grab it here and I want to pull it out to raise that contour a bit to match the uh, contour of the eyelid. This one up just a slight amount. Okay, and I think, let me bring this note down just a hair. Okay, so I think for this tutorial, I think that's that's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to hit enter, and now I've got my new selection here. And then I'm going to zoom back out. And then I'm going to go into uh, right-click and say edit, and I want to copy. And then I want to edit again. I want to paste as a new layer. Okay, so now if I go back to my layers, I should have a new layer pasted here. Okay, and then I'm going to, you see I've got none selected here. Um, I've got the wrong tool. Okay, so on my bottom layer that I've got hidden right now, I want to protect everything on that layer. You know, the, 
the uh, transparency, I don't want to be able to move it, I don't want to be able to edit that bottom layer, okay? So now I'm going to go up to my top layer. Now we've got one more thing we've got to do here. We need to remove the pupil because we don't want to affect the pupil. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to grab my magnifying glass and I'm going to zoom in on the pupil and I'm going to take my ellipse tool again and I'm going to use my ellipse tool to remove the pupil and we're not going to be exact here because I, I want to get this done quickly. But take your time and you can do the same thing that I did in the, with the other selection. Once you get it set where you want it, you can convert it to a path. And then you'll be able to move the individual nodes. But um, right now I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to cut. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out again. And now, and I'm going to deselect it. And now, as you can see, I've got the iris of the eye in a separate layer so that we can do with it as we will. And um, I don't want to be able to move it, but I do want to, and I want to lock the transparency layer. I don't want to be able to affect any of the transparent pixels, either where the pupil was or outside of the iris. So I've got those two protected. Now... I can display my bottom layer again and as you can see since we copy that selection to a new layer above the above the original image everything lines up perfectly okay so now that we've got that selected let's go up here to our brush and we'll go to our tool options and as you can see I've got the opacity set to 100 I've got the mode set for normal and that's a pretty small brush so we want to make it big there we go, that looks good. And it really doesn't matter what what type of brush you have. I, I think I've got, uh, I think this is one of the, the uh, fuzzy brushes, but it doesn't really matter. Um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna color this iris. So if I go up into my color selector here, and I really like the green, I like the acid green color. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna go here and I'm just going to color this eye Okay, so we've got the entire iris colored a like an acid green color. I'm going to go to my selection, uh, my uh, move tool here. And then I'm going to go back to my layers. And now that I have that, that top layer selected that we just, you know, where we have the iris, we've just painted everything in acid green. We want to go to our mode here because uh, we want to select a different mode for this layer that we just colored acid green to blend in with the iris on the on the original image so if we go down here to hsv hue and we select that isn't that cool uh, i mean i'm gonna go ahead and select the bottom layer so that you don't see that rectangle but isn't that cool now if i if i unselect it this is the original eye color this is the new eye color and look at it it keeps all the striations in the eye it, um, it, it, all it does is change the color, but all the detail, even the reflections and the iris of the eye are still there. So that, that is a really fast and easy way of being able to change the eye color of your subject. Or, you know, you could, you could do this to change skin color, you know, if you want to do that, if, hair color, whatever. Um, the same process that I'm showing you for eyes here will work just to, with just about anything in your image. Okay, but you can also select other modes too. Um, HSL color. Now look at that. You've got a, you've got a, you've got almost like a, a, a green wolf eye or a bird eye or something. I mean, it's very luminescent. So um, play around with the modes. That's one of the modes I like. I like the. Um, uh, the HSL hue and I like the HSL color and then you can go to the LCH hue and I've selected the wrong layer again always make sure you've got the right layer so and you can see it, it's more of a, a natural color of green but you can you can you know you can also uh, make it wild looking if you want to so LHC color, you can see that that's not quite as luminescent as the other one was, but it's it's pretty darn luminescent. And you can change it to whatever color you want. So if we grab a different color here, like say uh, pink, yeah, pink color, and then uh, we grab our brush and we color that. 
and you can see that um, now you've got more of a, a pink color. So it's a fantastic result that you get with this. And like I said, you can use it with anything in your image, not just eyes. But I, I thought that that was such a stunning um, result, you know, from such a quick edit, being able to do that. So, so there you go. This was a fun tutorial. All right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.